hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going live on the breakdown with um fortigate firewall and i have a fortigate firewall over here it has access to internet and it has these clients one and two and this is where i'm going to connect to my management um, interface on the fortigate firewall so this is the webtem pc over here it's a browser pc it has access to internet so uh, i will just reload the pages and as you can see it's loading and i've also started a capture to capture the packets on this interface um connect connecting the fortigate firewall to my local network now this is the capture it's already capturing packets over here so don't worry i'll just clear it and start it up start again and so what we're going to do is um this video is going to be in two parts we're going to have part one and part two so the part one is going to focus on um dos how dos packets um, flows through the network and causes the denial of service and also um, it overwhelms the firewall or the gateway either a router or a switch okay so let me check if that is yes. so as you can see we have access to internet over here so what i'm going to do is that um, i'm going to open a terminal before that i will pull stop the capture and capture again okay no no problem let me start again okay so i'm going to show you my gateway which is the, um, the gateway for my fort gate firewall So I also open my FortiGate firewall and when I go to interfaces, you will see that this is the IP address for my LAN. So let me check. And as you can see, it's the same thing that, um, that we have here in the app cache. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send hundreds of packets to the FortiGate firewall. And before we do that, uh, I'm just going to dashboard and status. now monitor the current cpu usage let me do it this way um, okay so i'm going to let me maximize it okay so our focus should be on the cpu usage so i'll send a ping to and then i'll add a argument f and i'll point it to the gateway and just no, just picture what is going on on the CPU. Currently, the CPU utilization is very low, but then this is going to send hundreds of packets to the gateway, and it's going to overwhelm the fourth gate firewall. And at the moment, we don't have any ICMP pings. Okay, so I will filter it this way, and I'm going to send the pings. So the F argument is going to send hundreds of packets per second to the FortiGate firewall. So this is a virtual environment, so um, we might be limited to the attack, but then it's still it's still going to work. So I'm going to send hundreds of packets into the network, and the packets are free. As you can see, these are hundreds of packets pointing to the FortiGate firewall. At the moment, we have um, 36. Um, 3,000 going to 4,000, 7,000, 5,000. So let's check the FortiGate firewall. And as you can see, this is the current, this is the current um, CPU utilization. It's almost at um, 87. Previously, it was around 19 or 18. And as you can see, these are over. Currently, we have 12,000 packets flowing through the network. So this is a virtual environment. So just imagine if um, this was supposed to be a real network and these packets were being sent from um, a computer and it will just overwhelm your gateway and then some of the clients on the network will not be able to access critical services on your network so this is part one of uh, my video series on the breakdown using um, the os with fortigate firewall and uh, in the next video i'm going to show you how to um, how packets are being blocked on the fortigate firewall with the IP, um, the DOS 
policy over here then we are going to analyze the packets as they are being sent from uh, the attacking pc to the fortigate firewall thanks